Good evening everyone, this is CJ Peaceful. Just wanted to do a quick video and give you all an update on the product I spoke of about, I guess about a week ago now, maybe a week and a half ago, a plastic coat. <clears throat> and if you remember correctly, what I've done is um, I used their dip product rather than an aerosol can and uh, dipped the stainless steel plate per their instructions. And uh, it, it held up pretty well, actually. Um, I just got through uh, running some tests here. Actually, on this cell, uh, maybe you can see it here. Uh, these plates measure three inches by two inches, um, which gives me total surface area of uh, 30 square inches. Now that that's subtracting, of course, this surface because of the coating. Um, uh, first test I did was I had uh, just about 12 volts and I was able to pass about 9, 9 amps through it and for 250 milliliters I got about 2 minutes and 17 seconds or 139 seconds or two, yeah, 139 seconds for um, for that test. Um, the second one up the amps by about 2 and uh, time dropped to a minute and 48 seconds and finally test 3, I brought it up to, it actually is about 13 and a half amps. And of course that brought the time even down lower to a minute and 23 seconds, or 83 seconds total for displacing 250 milliliters of water. Um, what I did is basically I, I, I uh, ran those three tests uh, just to see how this would, uh, would act in actual current situation electrolysis situation, excuse me. Uh, but before then, I had this sitting in a, uh, a beaker of uh, um, uh, solution, uh, purified water with lye this time. Um, uh, it was a very, very strong uh, mix. Actually, in order to get these amps um, without actually uh, uh, forcing an amp across, a current across the cell, um, I just increased my electrolyte until I got these these loads here. But in order just to get this first one, um, my beaker, if I can get it here, I'll show you. It uh, basically, it's the one that you've seen in other videos. And um, I fill up to about right here. So it's, it's about 750 milliliters of purified water is usually what I, I put in this beaker or in this uh, cylinder. And in order to get the 9 amps, it was uh, it took uh, 4 teaspoons of, of lye. And every time I, I added a teaspoon, of course, I got approximately 2 more amps per teaspoon. Now, after doing that, um, I also did a quick calculation based on um, the maximum of amps uh, we should be applying to these cells uh, per square inch, which is, you know, I keep throwing around the number, a uh, quarter of an amp. That means, <laughs> if I do this right, say I've got 30 square inches, I multiply that by uh, a quarter of an amp. Uh, this cell should be really seeing no more than 7.5 amps uh, because um, the problem with hexavalent chromate and actually producing hexavalent chromate, and I'm not sure exactly the process of how that, that's created, but that's a very toxic uh, byproduct, um, but I didn't have it going for very long, and I, I I don't know. Of course, I don't know if there was. I don't see any evidence of anything happening to the plates themselves, deteriorating, pitting, or whatever. Um, so I, I I don't know if that was an issue or not. Simply because uh, maybe this half inch uh, gap between the plates, there really wasn't a lot of a lot of heat actually, even at 13 amps. Um, The solution stayed uh, rather just just warm on the warm side. Um, but anyway, I just want to give you an update on this on this plastic coat. What I did notice though is maybe you can see it in the video here. You see it's it's kind of kind of rolling. Um, so there is some separation underneath it. But again, um, it, it will peel back. But it, it flaps right back, kind of like a gasket. 
you know, a nice formed edge here. And I think it's because of the way I, I, I did it. I, I dipped it twice, or dipped it once, or was it twice? I don't remember now, but let it dry, you know, um, and then I cut this side so it had this nice uh, lip, if you will, formed around the entire plate, which I think helps keep it attached to the plate. I think there will be a solution that will eventually migrate between the plate and the plastic coat, but I don't think it's going to be a big problem. I know, uh, uh, just reading in a, uh, an article today where Smack uh, describes um, or recommends the use of some sort of uh, pl plastic coating, plastic dip uh, coating as a possible um, preventative uh, measure against uh, current leakage. So, anyway, just want to give you an update on that, and I'm going to keep keep using this. Uh, I'll probably use it more and more on my cells as I go along, and give it some more some more run time, some more testing, some more actual environment um, contact, and see what uh, see what happens, and make a decision maybe in a couple of months if I should just keep using this or not. Anyway, just want to let you know and. Uh, Appreciate you watching, thanks.